I'll have to wire up an Arduino to a Sartone amplifier. I already have some code loaded on the Arduino, and I'll show you what that looks like. And I'll show you that this must be full wave in order for this to work. This is an example of a full waveform. You can see that's my zero reference, and you can see it goes to positive and minus five volts. And here's an example of a half wave. You can see it doesn't go to the doesn't go below zero. So looking at the back of the Sartone amplifier, you see there's your pins right here. Cheap. The pin out is actually pretty easy. This is your negative, battery negative, positive battery, your waveform input, and this is your output here. Notice there's no two extra pins for bias and power up. That's because this amplifier has a little circuit in there that determines the turn on the bias signal when it automatically when it detects a signal. I do not have an output for the amplifier here. So these pins will not be in use in my case, but I want you to put a 200 watt driver on yours because this output's 200 watts. So go ahead and connect up your signal in, your five volt square wave in. That's one. It doesn't really matter which way they go unless you have a specificated circuit. You don't have to use an Arduino, but it's recommended to. What I am gonna do is I'm gonna put my oscilloscope probe on the output so you can see the output waveform. Now make sure you know which pin is positive and which pin is negative. If you don't remember, simply just look on this side of the amplifier. And you can actually see this thick black wire, that's your negative, and that's going to this pin right here. So this means this pin right here is gonna be positive. Go ahead and connect up your positive and negative. Just make sure you don't have power connected to your wires yet though until you're actually ready to turn it on. What I also like to do is I like to take this rubber part right here and push it in as far as you can get it, covering up as much metal as possible to prevent shorts. I'm using a 24 volt wall adapter here. You could use two 12 volt batteries. Just make sure you use the fuse. That is important in case you connect it backwards or you short something. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn on the power. The buy signal on might turn on though is because of the soft start or whatever circuitry. That would turn off. And when that turns off, go ahead and now plug in your Arduino and it should start right up. And here's what the output waveform looks like. You can see it's very similar to the input, it just has a little bit distorted though, but that's pretty much okay. Now when you want to disconnect the Arduino, simply just disconnect the power to the Arduino. Signal light turns off, and the bias light will turn off in after five seconds or so. Therefore, it is a time delay circuit that's allowed to do pulse and such. And that is how you wire up a styrofoam amplifier.